Woods into the Dallas secondary all the way to the 40. Stopped by Darren Woodson. That's Bennis. His best run of the day. Dexter Coakley. The Cowboys have two fresh tackles on defense. Here comes Bennis. Rambling too close to the 41 and close to a first down. Kind of a jumbo offense there for Jerome Bettis, who's got the first down. And he is uh, tackled by Derek Smith. And here's the draw play to Jerome Bettis. Bettis inside the hand to the five, and Bettis gets to the goal line, does not get over. He is tackled at the one-yard line by both Derek Smith and Jesse Campbell, but that was an impressive power run by Bettis. Forget power. That wasn't power. I want you to watch what Bettis does right here, because if you look real close at about the 12-yard line, you're going to see a jockstrap laying on the ground right there. See that? That's Stanley Richard got faked out. Came clean, unaccounted for. You have to make the play. Well, you got one running back, and it's Jerome Bettis. With a run like this. Out past the 30 yard line and a gain of 18 yards with Dishman and Patton finally bringing the bus down. Well, John Whitman, the fullback, in motion, and here is Bennis. Finds a crease. And finally, Stanley Richard brings him down, but not before the Steelers get another first down. That kick off the turn. Take back. I'm sure he is. And thanks very much. Jerome Bennis finds an opening up the middle, and that'll get the crowd back into it. And also, and also get Tim Lester back into it after getting called for that right. penalty. You're going to watch Smith. He's going to come over. Tim Lester will come at you right from inside. Now go up and hit it. Boom. Takes it. See the crease? Nice job by Wolford. And then he turns it over to the safety. And if you're Stanley Richard. First down for the Steelers on the Redskins 47. Here is Jerome Bennis off the left side. Pushed out of bounds by Stanley Richard after getting nearly nine yards. <laughs> Fake end around, and Cordell Stewart has Jerome Bettis on the screen. Rucker couldn't slow him up, and finally, he is brought down. Fry is a 20-year-old. First down at the 42, Bettis gets the call again. He can wear you down and out. And Jerome Bettis with a first down, big run into Redskin territory. Stanley Richard finally first down on the Redskins 17 and there's Bettis a workhorse today and Stanley Richard wrestles him down inside the 10 yard line option and it's an option pass to the Colorado Buffaloes and it's Jerome Bettis touchdown Pittsburgh I was just going to say watch the option hey this is a perfect example of what they talked about in the pregame show Terry Bradshaw said they were going to use his feet. This is, you can't get a better illustration than this. He's going to do the old reverse. You come back right down the line of scrimmage. You're going to make him commit. He's your option, man. And then it just becomes a foot race. And he beats Patrice Alexander to the corner. Well, you've been talking about Norv Turner's abilities to make play calls, which he does so well. And this was a good one by Chan Gailey, Gailey of yes. the Steelers. Excellent. Throws from the 32-yard line. It's Bettis again swinging to the outside. And then turns his shoulders and picks up seven where he's tackled by Travis Davis. For Johnson in motion, it's the bus again, swing into the outside. Here comes Bettis, first down, and bumped out of bounds at the 48-yard line. Travis Davis elbows him out. Yeah, yeah. right, he'll, he'll hit you before he goes out of bounds. To the Steelers, mm -hmm. the Jaguars want it. Bettis on second and seven, breaking tackles inside the 40, big gain down to the 33-yard line behind a Tim Lester block, and what else is new? And again, Lester, the escort service. Well, we've seen the Corvette, here comes the freightways. <laughs> First down from the 15-yard line. Bettis back, Bettis inside the 10 to the seven-yard line for a gain of eight. Draw, that is big hole, and the bus rambles down to the 29-yard line for a gain of 19, and does that familiar little dance. Another Pittsburgh has it at the 28-yard line after the missed Hollis field goal, and Jerome Bettis 
Rambles for a first down before he hopped out of bounds by Hutchin. <laughs> what a great shot that was. That's, the, that's classic. And a sense of humor. <laughs> Have a seat, Jerome. Okay. Takes a shot right on the sideline. The bench vacated in a hurry. Mm -hmm. Nice job by Darren Perry right. sliding yeah. over. And <laughs> I'm home. I'll cross my legs and take it. Somebody hand me my pipe and smoking jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Levon <laughs> Kirkland scrambling out of there. Second down and 10 at the 42 yard line. The bus again. And he takes it to the 36 yard line. It's a game of six. It'll be third down and four. Here it's first down from the 40 yard line. And Jerome Bettis angles his way to the 47. Second down and three. Play by Cardell Stewart. Nice pass. On first down. They reverse it. It's Blackwell. Reversing on a play, but they stuff the ball up the middle to the 10 as it's carried by Bettis. And finally, they get a little room for him, and he goes down to the 10 yard line. Anytime that they see 89 racing around there, they, <laughs> they gotta, follow him. They got to follow him. <laughs> now, you know, that's a setup because that play was very well disguised by the Pittsburgh Steelers. They run away from the blitz again. Bettis. He's got the corner. He's got the 25, he's out of bounds, and a Steeler first down. The blitzing is coming from the left side. The play actually went a little bit to the right side, and uh, that was the play first before. Bettis again. There he goes. That's a first down over the 30, out to the 31-yard line. Mike Halepin. The coach, it's, it's, a, it's a nice move. Here's Bettis on that little delay. Finds a lot of room down near the 41 yard line. Third and two. Boyders jumping up, bringing a lot onto the line of scrimmage, and Bettis breaks through that blitz. Inside the order, 25 and a first down for the bus. 24. Bettis got a block, breaks free, and just tripped up. That carries over into a game as well. Bettis got a block from Lester. And is out of bounds at the 45-yard line of the Ravens, chased out by Rondell Jones. Page, they uh, read each other so well, and here's a good example. Thomas Lenski coming around here. Also, he's got a good lead by Lester. The thing is, that play probably was designed to go up inside the end, but again, he's saying they talk so much that they're always on the same page. Here they are again. Lester leading with a block. Bettis cuts up, first down, 35-yard line of the Ravens. He can get his team fired up. It's Bill Powell. Jerome Bettis, Lester leads the interference. Bettis, the bus rambles inside the 15-yard line. Stevon Moore took on Bettis. Team, and the Steelers have the ball. Jerome Bettis makes a nice cut up and breaks free. Bettis twisted, got away, just tackled at the 45-yard line by McCrary. While well, the bus was in overdrive, and McCrary was just able to grab him and stop further damage. Again, going on the right side line, Thomas Linsky and Justin Strauzek. What you want to do is be able to go right in. They got the momentum on their side right now. Give it to your horse. Give it to the bus. And so far, when he's been able to get to the outside, he's been very successful. He's got 76 so far. Trying to add to that right here. And Bettis is going to do that. He's got 10 more. You know, uh, Pittsburgh is full of all sorts of things named the bus these days. He had on a bus hat and a bus t-shirt yesterday, but he said his favorite of them all are those bus cookies. Oatmeal raisin. Here he is again. And the bus to the 19 in the express lane before Ray Lewis can clog it up. Johnson in motion. The bus. Made a cut back and is all the way to the 14-yard line, tripped up by Rondell Jones. There he is again, Jerome Bettis to the outside. Can he get the corner? Yes. Stops short of the goal line. He'll be marked out at the four-yard line. Lost that one. Yeah. Came down to a two-point play. Here's Bettis up the middle. And Jerome Bettis rumbles out near the 29-yard line. Lester, lead block, right side. Bettis cuts it back, has a first down to the 36-yard line. Blitz coming by the Colts. Bettis goes right by them. 
and moves the earth as he gets to the 30. <laughs> that is the magic bus, <laughs> Jerome Bettis. First down and 10 at the 30. And knowing a good thing, they give it to Bettis again. He's inside the 25 to the 24 on third and one. Cordell Stewart, little flip to Bettis, and the play works. Holy cow. Cute, cute play. You know what? And a great call by Chan Gaelic because Cordell Stewart last week ran four quarterback sneaks. And it looked at first it was like it was going to be a quarterback sneak. He steps back, looks like he jump over the line, then flips it out to Jerome Bettis. Soft hands by the big fullback. But that play was really a result of the four quarterback sneaks of last week. That is a really nice setup. I'll tell you what, that gets the defense on their hunch. Not even a chance to tie now for the Steelers. Here's Bettis with Lester leading the way. And Lester with a block. Oh, oh, it was a beauty. You heard it up here. Oh, what a beautiful play. But watch Tim Lester. Yeah, he is the number 34, you know, the, the wick to the candle. I mean, he just got and just clobbers Robert Blackman, the strong safety. Spun him around. First and ten. Here's Bettis. There's Bettis. 17-yard gain. He's become a cult hero here. And he's fired up, and he well should be. Great blocking by the offensive line, but it's that hip rotation and hip turn that Jerome Bettis has that's incredible for a 240-pound guy. I hopped on the bus, Vern, sitting here with John and also Gladys and Kimberly Bettis. You got the lead, you got the ball. How many times did Jerome get the series? I think about four more times. They should be in the end zone. That's all it's going to take? That's all it's going to take. You have a bus pass from Jerome. That started this week. Tell us about it. Yeah, that's to benefit the uh, Presley Ridge schools. Uh, it's for abused children to help them in their education. They help them get to be out of trouble. Great bus passes for people around Pittsburgh. Back to Vern. Thanks, Craig. I'm guessing Jerome Bettis gets the handoff here. Oh, my yeah. goodness. <laughs> Way to go out on a limb. I, I understand Gladys, though, was a heck of a bowler in her own right. Draw play, Bettis goes left. Oh my. oh my goodness. Almost equal his jersey number. That was 34 yards for 36. And the block that springs him on this play is by number 65, John Jackson, right there on Morrison, just slams him to the ground. I just love that when big guys go out there and just throw those little linebackers around and watch the bus turn it on down the sidelines. He's chugging. He's moving. He's slamming down the sidelines, and he just ran out of steam. I think that's the only way they caught him. And on second and eight, it's the bus to the right. Good yardage here as Bettis busts it inside the 10-yard line. Pittsburgh will have another first and goal as Bettis immediately bounces up into his strut. Him to the outside, they have a better chance of stopping him. So far, it's been the opposite. When he gets to the outside, he's gaining the yards. Look how closely he follows his uh, running mate, Lester. Did you see the Lester block on yes. Myers? The Lester block. They were together with the Rams, and Lester came to Pittsburgh and kind of lobbied for, for Jerome Bettis, and Jerome Bettis knows if I stay on his shoulder, a lot of good is going to happen. Right side denied, or is he? Nope, Bettis got in for the touchdown. Second effort. Second effort indeed by Jerome Bettis, who appeared he might have been stopped on the first hit. Lester again leads outside, and then you see Bettis break right inside. He stopped there, but watch this second effort. Pushed, shoved, Tumulty hits him. Oh, that's a big bus, you know? And they begin, no surprise, with big Jerome Bettis who busts his way up the middle. And we were talking about it yesterday, Jim, about the drive for Pittsburgh from its own 25. And Jerome Bettis right up the middle. Look at the strength as Bettis pounds his way to the 35. I care as long as they win. 
Second and seven. Bettis still on his feet to the 25. There's that little move again. Stewart. Pulling his way is Tim Lester, I believe. No, it's Bettis. It's the bus. And the bus now starting to get this uh, engines revved. Watch out. Get the, both of those big diesel engines going. And man, it is big when it gets going forward. And you talk to Jacksonville Jaguars, they say once he gets moving forward and he breaks the line of scrimmage, it's hard to bring him down. Defensive backs, if you watch film of the Steelers, Berg trailing throughout. And again, the flag's down. Bettis behind the quarterback. Stewart, shovel pass. Bettis on his way. Three touchdowns. The Steelers have won. A shovel pass to the fullback, the bus. And he's in the terminal. <laughs> Jerome Bettis. With a winning touchdown with 9.13 left in overtime. What a game. Overtime win for Pittsburgh. 23-17, overcoming a 10-0 deficit at halftime. It's the same team, so you know the confidence is there. Second down and six, and they give it to him again, and the workhorse explodes into Kansas City territory and gets hogtied at the 35-yard line by Jerome Woods. Huge opening on the right side, and that's what happens when you bring up eight in the box, as they like to say defensively, to try to stop the running of Jerome Bettis. That may have been his best of the season, but a huge block there. We saw Brendan Stey get out front and put a block on Reggie Tongue, and he six. Johnson should be back from his knee injury next week. Bettis gets the ball, swings to the outside. Carter can't corral him, and he picks up a first down. Carter had every opportunity, but what do you do when a guy's 250? Bill Cowher went to him before the game and he said just pretend we're starting in the third quarter. Here's Bettis inside the 20. Nine yard gain out at the 15 behind a Will Wolford block. And 10 at the 24 yard line. Here's Bettis and Jerome who is over a thousand yards this season. <laughs> Gets knocked down at the 36, so he's second in the league in rushing. Start of the night in third. Jerome Bettis, touchdown. And Alexander on the bench wondering what went wrong. Here's Bettis. Jerome Bettis, a gain of 10. John Jackson with a big block for him. Draw play the best. Win to run, and the bus is in Baltimore territory. Stevon Moore, the strong safety, had to come up to make the tackle. Mike, that is just a, a great job of getting a hat on a hat. That's what coaches talk about. Everybody on somebody. There's John Jackson, okay? He's on Keith Washington. He runs him out. You see, everybody's on a body. You don't see a Steeler standing without somebody near him. There goes Ray Lewis out of the picture. They just keep everybody get somebody on somebody. And the deep man in the eye. And Bellis takes a tackle midfield to the 30. Kim Herring cut him down, but it's a gain of 33. Mark Lewis all week stressed one point with his defense, and that's the one thing they didn't do on that play. They do not wrap him up. Jerome's comes through. Moore puts a shot on him, but it barely dents the bus. All he did was change lanes. Bettis slips a tackle again, pounds his way to the 46. Such great feet. See how his feet were going through the hole? You know, he's hard to bring down because he's so big and powerful, but he keeps the feet moving and going forward. The bus, you can't get to the tires on the bus. Six for 130 tonight. 
He's putting up some startling numbers. Pettis. There's the hundred and more. Walford threw a great block for him. Talking to the Ravens, Mike, they said as long as you can keep Jerome running east and west, he's not necessarily that tough to bring down. But when he gets turned upfield, you see the burst of speed that he has to go through the hole. Will Wolford, number 77, is out leading the attack as well as Lester. Look at the hole he creates. That was who bet his cut off of to pick up the yards. Cincinnati 28-yard line. And Cordell Stewart hands off to Jerome Bettis. And Bettis inside the 15 for a Steeler first down. At the 37 of the Bengals after that big chunk, they give it to Jerome. And Bettis rumbling close to another first down. In for the first down at the Bengal 25. Bettis again up the middle. And he might have another first down. He's also tied to some regional economic development plans. Jerome Bettis up the middle for some more big yardage. He's got a first down inside the 10. Again, all three turnovers by Cincinnati have come out of the hands of Jeff Blake. Fumbles. Jerome Bettis rumbling his way across, across the 40-yard line. His back is up back to block. Hits back. Goes to Cordell. There goes from Cordell to Jerome Dennis, who comes near side, inside the 30, a tremendous block by Tim Lester. He freed it up. He's been banged up because of it, but he's a tremendous part of the Steelers' success since he's come in from Colorado. The bus breaks it. Dennis rolls ahead down to the 31-yard line. He's trying to play some great football, the Lions, late in the season. Here's the bus. Rumbling on down. Next stop for the bus is at the 29-yard line. Coming to the line zone. Touchdown, Steelers. Oh, there's a lot of people here from Pittsburgh. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of yellow towels being waved right now in the stands. And then he's going to throw a throwback screen back to Jerome Bettis, who snuck out the other way. And very nice blocking there by number 65, John Jackson, to get him in the end zone. The left tackle, John Jackson, came down there in a screenplay, did a nice job of blocking. Lifetime at Sun Devil Stadium, including the Super Bowl a couple years ago. This time they have the bust. Jerome Bettis for seven yards. Then Jerome Bettis. <laughs> it's 14 yards. I know the uh, sound effect. Hard defensive line coach. He's watching, wait a minute, this is my old team. They're running against me. I don't... At the Arizona 46, and Jerome Bettis surging right up, ready to go on the road and win. They're up 7-3 here. Jerome Bettis rumbling to the right side, gets up to the 27-28 yard line. Yeah. In the meantime, they go with the bus left side, and Jerome Bettis with some big room has a Pittsburgh first down to the Cardinal 30. And up, he pops right back up on his feet in that familiar prance. Here to Bettis caught almost in the backfield, but resumes his forward progress to get it out to the 35-yard line. You know what we're going to take some time. Here comes the Cardinal defense on the blitz, and there goes Jerome Bettis for the touchdown. A little headbutt with Cordell, and, and bus, Bettis has another touchdown. And the bus made a stop in the end zone <laughs> he's pumped up you know it's just a matter of time before he got the football cordell stewart hands off to the bus and jerome bettis has the pittsburgh steelers back on top 17 to 10. a big play there second down and 10. closing seconds of his third quarter the bus gets rolling again and is still on his feet as he gets across the 40. Well, he's been charting Jerome Bettis's yards after the initial contact today. 26 rushes. He's over 100. He's got 30 after the first contact. Well, it just goes to show you know, what type of player he is. He's hard to bring down. But that figure right there, those numbers tell you about the guys up front. I mean, he has probably the best. Wolford, Jackson, Damani Dawson, without a doubt, is probably the best center in the league. And Brandon Stein. Justin Strauss. Jerome will try it and he will get it. 
That's a situation where there's no way I want to be on that side of the ball. Jerome Bettis was full steam <laughs> ahead. He had that thing in fourth gear. He was running. He was going to get that first down if he had to run two or three players over. Just the momentum he had coming up. I mean, you can see it in his eyes that he just wants that first down. He's going to put his head down and get that first down. So Pittsburgh and Bill Cower keep the drive alive. The clock remains ticking. 10-22 left. 17 all. And again, they give it to Bettis. And Bettis bulls his way inside the 25-yard line. So he has been, as usual, a big part of the Steeler offense. Jerome Bettis, but he came up and he did what he's supposed to do. There are Bettis' numbers. 35 rushes. I think Bill Collar wants a, a chip shot here, don't you think? Well, he's moving in as close as he can. This is third down. Bettis gets the first down and more. How about a touchdown on the win? That's not a bad chip shot. Look at Bill Cowher. He wants to congratulate someone, and it's Jerome Bettis. Lead. With the midpoint of the second quarter, from the 20, Jerome Bettis to the 9, nothing. Bettis on the draw. Jerome Bettis to the one-yard line. First and goal for the Steelers on a 17-yard rumble by Jerome Bettis. Here's your finesse running. Yeah, that's finesse <laughs> running. That's right, and it's, this has some anger to it. Jerome Bettis, he hasn't seen many holes today. And when he gets that big body moving, look at the defenders just falling off of him. Four. Fourth man, Ty Law, got him down. Down at the Denver 45. Rumbling to the 31. Tyrone Braxton made the tackle. 14 yards, Bettis' longest run. Well, Denver has the perfect defense to stop this run. The problem is you got to tackle the big man. Barry Gordon, number 23, at the end of the line of scrimmage, unblocked, but that's just not a good matchup. Yeah, but I'm going to tell you what he's trying to do. Gordon is try Charles Johnson is going to get a block here on that water, but look at Gordon. What he tries to do is block him down. You can't block him down. you got to get your arms around him. First down, 20. Bettis. Six, seven yards on the play. That water, the tackler. Tied at seven. Bettis hit the backfield, breaks loose. Drives to the one. They had him for a loss. Neil Smith saved the touchdown. Rushing touchdowns. Second and goal. Bettis. So important for the Steelers to show something offensively here in their first possession, and they are. Bettis rumbles to the 16. <laughs> 17 more for Bettis. Jerome Bettis, good blocking by the line. He sees the hole. Wants, he wants to go wide. It doesn't look good out there. As soon as he sees daylight, boom, cuts it up inside. Big man, weighs 250 pounds, but the thing that's amazing about him, when you see him in person, how quick his feet are. I'm a saint, I'm a soul.